taper attachment is back together now. Um, except uh, bracket because um, it's supposed to sit on there, but I never put it on. That way the bracket doesn't have to slide along the bed all the time. Uh, the taper attachment works like that. Except you set the taper in inches per foot or in degrees here. And um, inside here is the adjustment nut for the trust bearings on the lead screw. There's one trust bearing and then there's another one inside there and the nut. And here's the where the cross slide sits. In this down there is the adjustment wedge for the wear in the lead screw. But uh, this lead screw isn't really worn much. So, well, I guess that's about it. I have started on the putting the clutches back. I put one clutch back on the apron for the cross slide. And I'll put the other one back too. Time has come to put the oil in the main gearbox. I've been putting it off for a long time. And, uh, because I'm afraid the seal won't hold. But today is the day, we'll see if it holds. If not, I'll have to take the quick strange box uh, off again. The plan here is to pour the oil into the top here, so that it will run past the seal here. That's the seal I'm most worried about really, the seal between the bed and the main gearbox. Because that's this blue silicone stuff, um, so I'm not too sure about that. The seal around the edge of the quick change I'm pretty sure is good. I think we'll just, at least it will probably take a long time because I'm going to strain the oil. The oil is pretty new, I just changed it before I took the late apart, so... Uh, it's not dirty, but uh, I don't want any foreign particles that might have gotten into it, into the gearbox. That was getting pretty boring for you, I think. 
Uh, the oil look like, looks like it's uh, brand new, so I just poured some into the tray on top here too. That way, it's impossible to see maybe, but the oil is flowing in there. That way, I haven't even got anything registering on the gauge yet. I can't remember how much oil this gearbox takes, but it's uh, several gallons. Oh, I'll be back uh, when I've got something on the gauge. I got oil on the gauge here. Um, you can maybe see it in there that the oil is dripping down from the main gearbox into the oil reservoir that, at the, that is at the bottom of the quick change gearbox. So the oil is down here all of it eventually. I just filled the put in another gallon or so of uh, new oil. Uh, and the oil I'm using is the usual for old blades, mobile DTE oil, heavy medium turbine oil. So I think this will be almost full when all of the oil have run down into the reservoir. Mm. It might go down a little bit after I start the late up because there are some places that will fill up with oil. This is so far I've come with the carriage and the apron. There's not much left to do here now. I'm missing the half nut lever. Uh, uh, that's the half nut lever and then the reverse lever. And uh, of course this bracket for the lead screw and such. Um, tool past is on. We can go to tool on. Um, the taper attachment is uh, almost done. I'm only missing the away wipers in there. And the cover is on. That's homemade because the late uh, missed that cover when I got it. Uh, and I am also missing the covers that are supposed to be here. Supposed to be a cast cast iron cover that uh, sits on this peg here and a peg in there and one there. And then it, uh, it should have a drip, uh, it's sort of a drip tray too because it goes from this cover, it goes into another cover that um, that's under here. I have that but uh, I just haven't mounted it yet. Um, here you can mount the coolant but I'll just put the screws in there because I'm not using coolant. So coming along and the motor is still on the floor. I'll wait uh, a little bit with that since I'm not sure if I should demount all the castings around the belt and such before the motor or after. I'll think about that a little bit. But, um, <coughs> next uh, part is back here and it changed gears. A big casting around them and a cover, so I think I'll start on that next. I'm going to clean up the casting for the change gears now. And the only thing I'm sure about is that it's going to be a big mess. It's going to be messy. So I don't have a part washer, so I'll just do it on the floor. I have cleaned it before uh, inside there a little bit, but there's still a lot of mess left. And this cat iron dust, that's crazy dirty. Quite warm, but uh, I can't find anywhere to buy them over here, so I'll 
have to wait until I order something from Inco. this on uh, fast forward now and see you when it's done Here's where the casting for the change gears are going. It needs to be cleaned because uh, for some reason I haven't cleaned here properly before. Especially not in there. And I need to clean the gasket face with tinder. And then we'll try to put it on. I'm ready to put on the sealant here now. Be plain sailing around there, but here's the gasket, and there's the gasket. That one should be okay because I can't see the develop any leaks kind of up there, so that will be okay, I think. But down here, it's a problem. And I think the tactic will be to just put on sealant really heavily on this face here. And maybe put on sealant from the inside too after I've attached the casting to the machine. So we'll see how it goes. We got the leak from the clutch here. I, the only reason I can see is that uh, either the cover here is not flat or that the casting piece is not flat. We'll find out soon enough. I pumped the oil pump here, the manual one, uh, until I had oil to the waist the other day to see if we had any leaks. I didn't find any leaks at once, but well, two or three days later and I saw it today. This is not full of oil, but there is definitely oil in here, so I'll keep the paper ready when it comes flowing out. I 
that uh, loosened all the bolts uh, at the same time because the clutch keep pressure on everything here. Let's see if we can find that. <coughs> oh yeah, I can just uh, just take that apart too. Um, I should have learned put sealant on this part, not that part you can see. Put sealant there, but there isn't any contact there, so... Put sealant on in the correct uh, place now. So the moral is to evaluate both faces where there is actual contact before you uh, put on the sealant. I've started on the change gears now. I put on the quadrant and this uh, oil line here. I have to attach this oil line and then uh, put on the three gears. I think we'll uh, do a little time lapse there.